Well, every day, you know, we drive to work or take a, a bus someplace and, you know, that infrastructure that everyone is wandering around on top of, it has to be monitored and maintained by somebody, right? Yeah. And INSAR, or what we do at EO59, gives you the ability to go back in time. So it's the only, unless you have a DeLorean, you know, from Back to the Future, yeah, or like sure. a time time machine, you know, you can't go yeah, back in time. Website. You know, so we, we want to go back and see how much that road, that that bus is driving on moved in the past so that we can better understand how it's going to move in the future to make sure that the transportation agency spends its money appropriately and make sure you're safe getting from place to place. And we all live in a dynamic world. In fact, think about this. We didn't know how much the world was moving before. I mean, if you look out the window, the building looks stable. Yeah. But the truth is that all of this stuff is in motion. And we want to understand those trends and try to understand, you know, what does it mean? What does it mean that the school has one support pillar that has shifted, you know, 20 centimeters over the course of 10 years? Maybe it means nothing. Maybe it means something. Yeah, the very first data set was in 1992 that was civilian uh, capable of interferometry. It's called ERS-1. And uh, this is a, it's a crazy story. I mean, if you, if you go to YouTube and look for ERS-1, you'll find all kinds of strange stuff, you know, because it was the first time that you know, anyone had access to this, this unique data. Like, what are we going to do with that? How does it work? And they thought it didn't work at the time. And you know, there's, it was just like the Wild West of radar. And now it has gotten, you know, much, much, much broader. Uh, but we can, you know, consider those old satellites like, you know, antique cars. You know, it's, uh, that data set's special. I mean, unless you have a real reason to go back to the 90s, you know. <laughs> Only it's only for Jay Leno. I mean, Jay Leno can, he can have he can have his vintage car from the 1950s exactly. and, and play with it. But you know, for you and I, we, we just want a Volkswagen. Okay, I'll, I'll take my Jetta. So you know, there's, there are all sorts of different categories of data.